Hello, this is Mark. I'm your friends. Don't hate my guts, okay? Um, I just read an article on CNN websites about the new ads from Kindle. And it seems like Kindle is trying to um, go after iPad. And then it blames iPad about, um, you know, too much glares come from the... Um, screens of the iPad so we can't read the iPad under direct sunlight. <laughs> Y'all know that's bullshit at times. We don't read under direct sunlight all the times. You got what I mean? If you go to the beach, will you bring Kindles or iPad with you? And then you sit next to the sea and then when the sea breeze comes, the wind will bring you the sand and all the stuff from the sea and destroy your expensive toys. Waters can get into your Kindles or iPads and things. And for me personally, I don't read on the beach. I'll read at home. If I might happen to get a chance to go to the beach, I will not take any books with me. I'm going to take my time to enjoy. I'm going to take a deep breath and enjoy all the sea breeze and then I'm going to look around and enjoy all those boobs from any of those nice ladies on the beach who wears bikinis, enjoys all the things. Who cares about reading books on the beach? If you, if you see that lady, that, that lady is in the ad, she wore glasses. Why? Sunglasses. And the guys do like this. It's like, well, come on. This is funny, you know. We don't go to the beach to read something. Okay, so I just want to make a short comparison. And I know that after I finish these clips, someone going to send comments to me like, Mark, you're a piece of trash. We know all the thing. You are yellow skin. You are Asian. You know the thing. We are rich. Who care? Um, firstly, compare briefly, compare between the iPads and the... Um, the Kindle DX. Um, okay. Firstly, you can't play games, 3D games on Kindle. Of course not, you can't do that. And um, secondly, you can't surfing webs with the uh, full color pages from Kindle because the Kindle doesn't have the LED backlit displays in full colors. And for all I know, there are almost, I mean, more than 200,000 apps throughout the world which cannot be played or used on Kindle. These 200,000 apps can be used with only Apple iPads or iPhone or iPod Touch or whatever and so on. But they are not compatible with Kindle, so we can't do a thing with them. And also, for all I know, some of my clients who've been using Macs, they told me that they bought Kindle and they couldn't read Kindle under very low lights or in dimmed rooms. So that means the Kindle screen doesn't have backlights like Apple LED ones. And of course, if I want to watch television episode, if I want to watch any um, films on the iTunes stores, I can't buy any of these directly from Wi-Fi Network and put them on Kindle. It's not possible. And of course, I want to update spreadsheet. There is no Microsoft Office or Keynote or whatever and so on. It works fine with Kindle. I cannot update my Keynote or my number of spreadsheets on Kindle. Why? And the largest storage that's available for Kindle is only four gigs of storage. It's not enough. It's not. It's not even adequate for what I need. But the largest one for the iPad is 64 gigabytes. So it's bigger. It's the largest. And the Kindle has something called Dry Inks, Gray 16 level display, whereas the iPad has a screen called Backlit LED display. So it's rich and brilliant and vivid. Okay, and lastly, I think Kindle doesn't have multi-touch gesture capabilities. So that means I can zoom in, I can swipe, do other things with that. So, therefore, the Kindle doesn't have the multi-touch gesture capabilities. So, the Kindle has to sacrifice some of the screen space or the screen real estate, and they gotta put big, bulky, tangible keyboards like BlackBerry stuff. Whereas the iPad, you can get the most out of the screen because you've got multi-touch so you can type on the screen whereas you can't type the screen for Kindle. So that's the thing. And 
you know what? What would be the worst comparison? What would be the worst thing that I'm going to tell you now? The Kindle, it doesn't support video playback. So you can't watch videos on Kindle. Let me get this straight. If you're on a plane, on a train, on a bus, whatever and so on, will you read the books? Of course, some might say, yeah, Mark, you suck. I read the books on that. And you know that? You can read for a while and all. You got vomit like, oh, it's crap. My head spinning. Right? But if you watch video, it's fine. It's like compromise. Okay, fine. It's family. You can watch videos on any trends or bots or whatever. So you can watch videos on that. But Kindle doesn't support videos. You can watch movie. So that's the point. Okay? Somebody might say things more and do about all this thing. Kindle is cheaper. Well, you need a cheap ebook. That's fine. But I just want to make a comparison. Because I saw that new ad. Okay? The guy was sitting next to that ladies, and then he asked the lady, okay, well, can't read, it's like too many glass comes to my eye. The lady said, well, here's a Kindle, 839 US, is she wearing my sunglasses? I would say, you piece of shit, you're so stupid. You bought this damn glass, 139, you damn stupid. I can't spend only probably four bucks for it. That's a true story. And who cares about reading next to the beach under a red sun like, you know what, I work for computers. I gotta take pill every day. The pill called retina, lutein, and cysantin. Because when you open your eyes under red sunlight, and you know what? Something wrongs in the ass because you saw that lady, okay? She was wearing glasses, sunglasses. So it's like, well, if Kinder is that good, why do you wear sunglasses? If you hand over that damn more expensive sunglasses to the gentleman right next to you, and then he wears a sunglass. This time, well, he doesn't have to do like this because the eyeglass is fine. But when we just use in a demon's room or darkened rooms, and then this time, Kindle is not good because it doesn't have backless LED. So that's the point. Okay? So, don't send many comments shouting at me, okay? Because I earn nothing from doing this. I spend things on my computers, my cameras, my internet connectivity, and all over and so on. I just want you to know that what would be the difference. If you want to go for the Kindle DX or the iPad, which I mean the price almost identical, it would just go for iPad. But if you need 139 cheap ebook readers as a present for your daughters or your friend, the one you love as a present for someone, go for it. Amazon Kindle is fine. But I don't really agree with the apps. I mean, well, we should not blame other vendors. Okay? Apple they will blame others. We need to blame others. We do things for a living, we don't have to eat. Then we do things for a living, but we shouldn't supposed to, I mean, blame others. That's the point. For me personally, I want to buy Kino for sure, but I buy an iPad. It's representing Apple. And I love Apple. So if you like it too, okay? Thanks for watching.